Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Rob, AKA The Diligent Dab, and welcome to our fourth and final video on the Ionic Cocktail Recipe app utilizing Vue.js. What we're gonna do in this video is polish up our app a little bit and do some refactors to make our code a little bit cleaner. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and get right into it. Okay, so here we are over at the computer and I have our project all loaded up in Visual Studio Code and I also have our app running in the browser. Now the way that I got this running was to go down to the terminal and run Ionic Serve. The first thing I wanna address is that the tab one on the title up here just says tab one and I'd like it to say random. So in order to do that, we're going to go to SRC, views, tab one, and up here at the top, you'll see an ion title and we're just going to change this to random. Go ahead and save. And now we see we have random displayed over here. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is something that I touched on in part two and three, and that is that we haven't imported the ion components that we use on our pages. They are resolving correctly and it's showing on the screen, but I am getting a lot of warnings in the console. So every single time we use an ion component like uh, the ion spinner here, we really need to import it from ionic view and register it as a component. Now we've pretty much done this on all the tabs, but I'm gonna show you an easy way to figure out which components you don't have on each tab. So if you open up your dev tools and you go to your warnings, you're gonna see that it says failed to resolve component ion spinner. Uh, we also have ion refresher content. So these are all the ones that we need to go ahead and import into our pages. Now I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video here and I'm gonna fix this on all of our views and tabs. So pause it here, make sure you open your dev tools, go to each page we have inside of our application and go ahead and resolve all of these warnings. Okay, so now I've imported all the Ionic components that I need and I'm not getting any more errors inside of my console. And then the next thing I wanna do is consolidate all of our interfaces. So you'll see that in our drink.view, we have this I drink details, which is an interface that we put inside of our interfaces folder. And there are a couple more tabs. I believe that drinks by ingredient has an interface in it. We have this drink interface. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to create a new file in interfaces, and I'm gonna call this idrink.ts. And we're gonna go back to drinks by ingredient. I'm going to cut this. I'm going to paste it in here. I'm going to change the naming convention to put an I in front of drink. And then we're just going to export default I drink. And my autosave was turned on, so now we're seeing that we're getting an error inside of drinks by ingredient because we do not have this interface anymore. So up here at the top, we're going to import I drink from interfaces slash I drink. And then we'll just come down to where we have that and just put I drink there. And we'll go ahead and save this and we see now we're not getting our error. We also have an interface in tab two, I believe it's called ingredients. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut this. We're going to go back to our interfaces and make another one and call this iingredient.ts. We'll go ahead and paste that in and put our i in front of it. And then we will export it. We will come back to tab two and import it. And then we will come down and make sure that we have our name correct. And then we'll just go ahead and save everything and everything has resolved correctly. Now on our tab one, what we can do inside of here 
is this random cocktail should be I drink details. So we'll go ahead and import it up here. Let's just do it at the top. So we'll import I drink details from interfaces slash I drank details. And we're just gonna go ahead and say as I drank details. And I'll go ahead and save. And we're not getting any errors. So we've successfully moved all of our interfaces into our interfaces folder and consolidated them. The next thing I wanna do since we're not using it at all is just delete this Explorer container. And so we'll just go and delete. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is refactor our drink card. Now, when I initially wrote this, you'll see that instead of doing a loop, I went ahead and just explicitly wrote out every single ingredient. And this is not really good code. It, it bloated our template up. And I'm gonna have to give a shout out to Laurentius Adi. Sorry if I butchered your name. He came up with a solution that I really like. So in order to implement this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep our ion list and we're gonna keep one of our ion items. The rest of these ion items we're gonna get rid of. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do is wrap our ion item in a template. And we'll go ahead and just throw this up here. Next for our template, we're going to say V for index in 15, since there are 15 different ingredients that we can have returned from the API. We're gonna set the key equal to the index. And then we're gonna come down to our ion item and I'm just gonna format this real quick. Now, in order to grab a specific property off of an object, we can wrap it in brackets. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this in a bracket and then we're going to do some interpolation on it. So I'm gonna put a back tick. I'm also gonna put a back tick here and we're just going to replace this one with index. And we need to delete this period right here. So that's what it should look like. And all this is doing is grabbing the str ingredient property off of this object and we're replacing the one or the number with an index that will repeat 15 times. And what we can do is we can just grab this right here and replace this. And then we'll also do the same logic here. So we'll delete that. We will wrap this in back ticks. and pass it index. Now we'll just go ahead and grab this and replace it here. I'm gonna go ahead and save everything and you'll see that it has reloaded. And if we go back to like our random, we can see we are still getting all of our ingredients, but this is a much cleaner implementation and it does not bloat our template. So that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this refactor video. Now I know there are a ton more things we probably could refactor, but I wanted to keep this on the shorter side and give you a good idea of things that you can improve inside of your application. If you have any suggestions, I highly encourage you to leave them in the comment section below. I love to see other people's solutions to these problems, and I think it would help out anybody else that views this video. If you got any value out of this video, I'd appreciate it if you smash that like and subscribe button. If you have any other comments, questions, or concerns, go ahead and drop a line in the comment section below. And until next time, happy coding.